trade and security topped the agenda when the heads of state from the 10 ASEAN countries met on Friday and Saturday. In his opening address, Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong warned that the spat between China and the US could affect the bloc. The political mood in many countries has shifted against free trade. And in particular, the recent trade tensions between the United States and China are worrying concerns. ASEAN countries will have to react to these major external trends. US President Donald Trump has threatened to impose tariffs on Chinese imports, with China promising retaliation if he does. For many ASEAN countries, the US and China are their two biggest trading partners. On the issue of security, ASEAN members discussed the threat of violent extremism and cyber attacks. The 10 countries are also negotiating an extradition treaty, as well as a code of conduct with China to ease tensions in the disputed South China Sea. But there is an area where ASEAN member states have been criticised for not doing enough. Human rights activists have said the bloc fails to promote and protect human rights and fundamental freedoms. The bloc largely stood by in silence when Cambodia shuttered its independent media organisations and dissolved the main opposition party. There was very little censure of Philippines' so-called war on drugs, in which thousands have died in extrajudicial killings. And there are ongoing crises in Myanmar. Fighting has intensified in Kachin state in the north, displacing thousands. In Rakhine state, 700,000 Rohingya have fled across the border into Bangladesh since August to escape persecution by the military. ASEAN needs to pressure uh, Myanmar to uh, be accountable for what's happened and, and to investigate uh, or allow investigators like us, Human Rights Watch and others, to go into these areas uh, ascertain exactly who was responsible for the atrocities committed against the Rohingya and then hold them accountable. Uh, again, we're seeing nothing from ASEAN. But for a group that prefers to keep a policy of non-interference in a member state's domestic affairs, that might be a tall order. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Singapore.